Hey. Hey, y'all. C- can you hear me better? <laughs> Got me a new mic. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm doing this video thing. It's a wrap. All right. Check it out. What's up, y'all? This video is titled Emotion versus Logic. How to make the best decisions in four steps. So, people let emotions determine the decisions way too much. And you can see this in society today. Everybody, um, well, not everybody, but most people for the most part let their emotions rule their decisions instead of their logic. And it's very understandable because we wasn't really taught to go with our logic. We have been taught, but we haven't been taught not to let our emotions overrule our logic and what we really think should be happening. We shouldn't let how we feel about a situation in the heat of the moment determine how we act. And that is a very hard thing to do, but when it comes to making better decisions in life, it's something that is a must. So everybody knows that in the heat of a moment, we say and do things that we would never have done otherwise. We might say, uh, I hate you. We might say, I never want to see you again. We might try to hurt the other person's feelings. We might do something wild, break something, fight. Things that would end us up in situations that could have been avoided if we just learned how to better control our emotions and not let it rule our decision making. Now, when your emotions overrule your logic, logic begins to mean nothing. You can be in an argument with somebody making perfect sense and them not hear you in the heat of the moment just because they're not letting their logic, they're not letting their logical mind take over the situation. They're letting their emotional mind take over the situation. So after the situation is over or whatever, they might calm down and come to you like, oh, I thought about it and I understand what you were saying better now. I just didn't get it before. And they might even apologize and say you are actually right and it actually makes so much sense now. But how can something that is exactly the same make so much sense now, but made absolutely no sense before? That's just proof that when our emotions overrule our logic, it doesn't matter what makes sense. It doesn't logic means nothing at that point. So we have to learn how to control our emotions or we'll never be able to make the best decisions that we can be making. We must decipher our emotions from our logic. When we have a logical thought, it's a different kind of feeling than when we have an emotional thought. Emotional thoughts are usually thoughts that are quick, that just right at the moment of your emotion change you get a rush of thoughts and you go with the first one or the second one usually your first thoughts when you first become emotional aren't the best decisions because you haven't even taken the time out to logically think out the situation nor are you even thinking about wanting to think it out logically so this is something that must be changed if we are not making so good decisions and want to look to change them now every situation every situation we need to stop and analyze we need to think about what makes the most sense if we run take a run down of all of the scenarios you have to think about how would you like this situation to end and what would it take from you to ensure that this situation ends in the way that you want it to end this is how you take control this is how you end up with situations that better fit what you really want after you are done being emotional. Obviously, whatever makes the most sense is what you should be doing, period. So listen up, these are the four steps. One, you must learn how to listen to your gut feeling. When your gut tells you to do something, and then you take it to your brain, and then you overthink it, and you talk yourself out of whatever your gut feeling is trying to tell you. You must stop doing that. If you want to make better decisions, you must listen to your gut feeling. Two, you must listen to your heart feeling because we might associate them as kind of the same thing, but they are slightly different. So when you have a feeling in your heart that something is supposed to be a certain way,
something isn't right, you must go with that feeling, even if it may be uncomfortable. Those are the times where it's so uncomfortable to do what your heart is telling you to do, but you just know it's so right. And from personal experience, when you do those things, right after the uncomfortability, I promise that it ends up way better. Now it's three. You must learn how to control your emotions. Now, this is a very hard thing for some people to do is to better control their emotions. They have anger issues or maybe they're depressed and uh, more sad and let that guide their decision making. So, I'm going to make an entire video uh, separate from this video dealing with how to actually control your emotions, but that is step three in making better decisions for yourself. Setting an intention to learning yourself and learning how to control your emotions and not letting it overrule your logic. And step four is think situations through. You must think about how you want the situation to end and what it's going to take for you to ensure that that situation ends that way. That is the only way that we will make the best decisions is if we think that we can't let our emotional mind uh, just make decisions for us. That's not what it was meant for. Our logical mind was made to make our decisions. We get our gut and our, we get feelings in our gut and our heart to tell us to make decisions. Our emotions are one thing, but it is not designed to pick the best choice for an outcome to end in your best favor. So yeah, with that being said, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and comment and follow and all of that good stuff. Talk to you later.